So they done messed up, all right? This is like the, the 15th time this person done messed up, all right? And so they're coming back into your experience with so many regrets. You know, I'm so sorry that I did you this way. You didn't deserve this. I love you so much. And they're pouring it on thick. The next thing you know, they're crying, snot flowing. Honey, all I got to say, when the clown come back trying to put up a show for you, you need to go ahead on and give them a towel or give them some tissue to wipe their eyes and wipe their little nose and let them go ahead on back out the door. I want you to understand that the enemy is trying to grab your attention again. Don't you forget this is this message is for somebody. It may not be for everybody if it's one person that's good enough for me. Don't you forget what the enemy did to you through that person. Don't you forget the lies. Don't forget the scheming. Don't forget the deceit. Don't forget the cheating. Don't forget the abuse. I want you to understand that that, that clown will come back with that same wig on, all right? It's a rainbow wig this time, okay? And that clown will come back tears flowing talking about how god done cleaned them up i want you to please listen to me tears flowing they're so sorry they realize now that you're just the best thing that ever happened to them and they just can't believe they don't understand why they did what they do they love you they're gonna get in the therapy they're gonna do all this skirt uh, you know it's, it's great that you got the revelation all right and it's good that they done came i guess to jesus supposedly allegedly okay but at the end of the day you need to send them on their merry way i want you to understand that the devil knows how to pull at your heartstrings through these folks he knows the history that you've had with this individual he knows the time that you've spent with them. He knows that this person knows your triggers. This person knows your insecurities. This person knows you on the inside because you trusted this person. So you allowed them to come into a space that should have been, you know, between you and God. But I understand sometimes in relationships, if we trust somebody, we let them into our hearts. And so because you've let them into your hearts, they know your secret parts in your spirit that may not be developed yet or they may know that you have a good, kind heart, or they may know that you are a forgiving person. But I want you to know that God didn't create you to be a doormat. Yes, he did say you can forgive people 70 times 7, all right? But just because I forgive you don't mean that you can be in my, a, a relationship with me. Just because I forgive you, that don't mean that you can live with me. Baby, I can forgive you so tough and pray for you. I mean, sure enough, pray for you. I mean, pray for you in a good way. But every tear, you can cry a tear until your tear ducts dry. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you're going to have to get some Neosporin ointment to rub in the tear duct to kind of get it back going again. I want you to understand that you need to say goodbye to the clown that's trying to come back into your life with tears. Because I want to let you know something about toxic people. Toxic people will have all of these revelations when you gone. I want you to understand that a toxic person or a narcissist or a person that's full of demonic spirits, they can feel your energy pull away. I want you to understand that they don't care if that energy that you got coming towards them is full of love or full of anger. As long as they can feed off of it, that keeps them alive. And I want you to understand that they know today that you've taken your spirit back. You've taken your energy back. You've taken your heart back. You've taken your life back. You've begun to do things that you used to. Look at you. You're smiling. You're happy. You lost a few pounds. You found something that you really, really love. You've started taking classes again, hanging out with your friends again again, maybe even going to church again. Oh, honey, you just walking around that shining, looking so beautiful and bright, done took up a new hobby, done found up a little more things about you. You've sat there and kind of really got still in the presence of God and God is just shining all through them cracks and everything. He's replenished your life, filled your heart up and had they come back crying with them tears again. Don't allow people to come back up in your life. Don't let the devil 
hoodwink you. I don't care how many tears they done cried. You can have compassion and tell them to get on away from you. Because one thing I've learned about God is that he's so good that he can open our eyes to let us know that that's a part of your past and not a part of your future. I want you to understand, baby, that when you can resist the devil and you can show enough, get real, 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 real close to God, he will flee. And until the next video, guys, mwah, peace, because I believe in your strength. Bye now.